Here is how to make a blur filter in Streamlabs OBS that is not resizing your scene. Hey guys, BZ here, and today's video is going to be a tip video, trick video on how to get a blur filter in Streamlabs OBS. Now I've been looking far and wide for a blur filter on Streamlabs OBS because I prefer Streamlabs over regular OBS. And the big, the big downfall is OBS has the plugins, Streamlabs is not open source, so they update it themselves. If, if they don't want to put in a blur filter, they won't put in a blur filter, right? If they can't figure out how to put in a blur filter, they won't be able to put in a blur filter. Um, so yeah, this is a workaround, but it will be a blur filter in Streamlabs OBS. So when you're playing or streaming games in Streamlabs OBS, you will be able to blur the background or the gameplay and stuff behind you. And it's not, it's not changing your aspect ratio and changing resolution. I should have started off by saying, that. I'm probably going to cut that and put it in the beginning, right? Right now. Here we go. I'm going to say it and I'm going to put this in the beginning. Here is how to make a blur filter in Streamlabs OBS that is not resizing your scene. All right. So this is going to be a workaround, but it is going to be an actual blur filter for Streamlabs OBS. So what you need is you need to have OBS Studio. You need to have a plugin called Composite Blur and you need to have Streamlabs OBS. Um, for this to work, you're going to need to open up OBS Studio. You're going to need to add the composite blur filter, and then you're going to need to capture your uh, disk, your window for OBS. So I know it seems like a, it's like a lot of resources being used, but if you're using it for quick instances, like blurring out nudity in a cutscene or something like that, this is really useful and you could open and close OBS in an instant, especially if you have a stream deck. So I'm gonna go through the steps real quick. So what you want to do is you want to, and also I have the plugin linked down below in the description, uh, is composite blur for OBS plugin. Um, so what you want to do is you want to open up OBS. You want to create a display capture. You're going to capture the main monitor that you're playing your game on. From there, you're going to add a filter and it's going to be the composite blur filter that we got from our plugin. Once we do that, that's it. We don't need to have anything else with OBS besides what we're going to capture on Streamlabs. So it's already capturing it and it's already blurred. So you can just leave that visible. Um, from there, we open up Streamlabs. We're going to create a Windows capture. And when we create our Windows capture, we're going to capture the, the, the window for OBS. What I do and what, I, what I'm going to tell you guys to do right now is to crop the edges of the OBS window to only capture the gameplay that you have in your preview on OBS's preview screen. And from there, you want to, for the options, well, you probably do this before you crop it, but the options you're gonna do is Windows 10, 19, 0, 3 and up. Um, you wanna have that clicked as well as the area for your um, little boxes to check. And you want to activate that whenever you want to have the blur filter on. So you're going to open up OBS and activate your scene. And that creates the blur filter for the game behind you. And that'll be just demonstrated in the game right now. Um, and then from there, if you have a stream deck or any other accessory that kind of helps with macros and hotkeys, uh, you could create a multi-action, especially in the stream deck, you create a multi-action um, key press. And what you would do here is I would do a multi-action switch in Elgato Stream Deck and you open it, drag in, um, a, you click on your system, then you click open and that's an open application. You search for OBS in your files, uh, open up OBS Studio. Then from there, you go to your Streamlabs desktop section in your Elgato's, um, in your Elgato software, your Stream Deck software. Uh, you open up the Streamlabs desktop little drop down and you pick source. You drag source over in there. From there, you're going to click on the source that you want, which is going to be the blur, right? The blur source. So when you created that window for OBS, name it blur. So it's easy to find. Um, and then you're going to activate that. Then you're going to go to your second click and it's going to be the two up top. Um, when you click on that, you're going to go back to system. You're going to get close and then you're going to search for OBS, close OBS studio. And then you're going to go back to Streamlabs desktop drop down and you're going to drag in the source again, again, your blur source, but this time you're going to click deactivate. So that way when you press the button, it pulls up, it opens up OBS, it opens up your, it activates your blur filter and it shows it on your screen behind you or wherever you want it. And then when you press it again, it closes OBS and turns off that, 
that scene. So then it goes back to your normal scene that you're recording. I do hope that this all makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, uh, you guys could go ahead and comment down below, ask me questions about this. Um, again, this is just a workaround. Streamlabs does not have a dedicated blur filter or blur option inside of the its software itself. Um, and yes, this may take a little bit more resources, but if you're using it, like I'm using it just for quick blur, um, spur of the moment blurs, like maybe you need to blur nudity in a cutscene or blur somebody's chat because you don't want that being seen or something like that. Um, this is a really good feature, especially for somebody who has macro support, um, like a stream deck. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video. If it did help you, I would appreciate to see that in the comments as well. If you're still struggling to figure this out, you guys can comment down below and I'll try my best to work through it with you. Subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you did enjoy this video or if this video did help you guys out. Um, even more so if you enjoy gaming videos or live streams, I do live stream weekly on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok, as well as sometimes I post review videos about the games that I play. And very, very rarely I post videos like this where I kind of figure out some way to make something work that I have been needing and I share with everybody else. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time.